hello this is part 9 of our counting functions and in last part that is part 8 we discussed counting unique values with a, a criterion with just a one criteria that is where we had the number of unique products that did a sold okay now in this part i want counting unique values with multiple criteria now that uh, we have multiple criteria is that where did uh, the number of products the number of unique products did I sold in Africa is what I want to do just as an example okay I say equals sum tab if okay tab again I open a bracket because I want and okay I want two criteria to be met so the first criteria is that salesperson should be equal to Dida right I close and I close the bracket time is open the bracket the next criterion is a region should be Africa this should be equal to Africa right Africa I close the bracket this is the logical test the salesperson should be Dida and the region should be Africa okay comma now I have one divide by count ifs count ifs now with s right tab criteria range one should be salesperson okay and criteria one is dida right comma criteria range two should be africa and criteria two should be uh, the, the criteria in two should be region and criteria two should be Africa All right Are we together? Yes, Africa comma now criteria range two should be product Comma product criteria three should again be product okay we have to close this bracket okay we have to close the bracket from here and again we close and we say comma if it is false it is zero we close we close okay control shift enter for array value we have three unique products that did are sold in africa this is the first one okay then did in africa here this is the or should i use another color a different color yeah let's say did are sold that in africa this repeat itself so again it has sold that uh, in africa in Africa did a sold bronze did a sold gold in Africa silver in Africa and sold bronze in Africa so those are how we are going to calculate unique values with multiple criteria I hope you enjoyed the counting functions that we have tried to show most of uh, counting functions both from basic intermediate and advanced part of counting function and in our next class we are going to discuss the second function of aggregate functions and that will be summing function thank you and enjoy learning